Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Beginner's Guide. I'm Flinger Foo, and I hope everyone's having a pretty good day. I'm having a really good day. Uh, yesterday we went out and we tamed up XP's and we tamed up Bob. Alright, now both of these two have just been leveling up a little bit. Um, and yeah, passively. I'm, on Bob, I'm just going with weight. Uh, for a little bit, I might put a little bit more melee damage and health in him for right now. But right now, I just want him to be my refrigerator. Alright, you hear that, buddy? You're a good refrigerator. I like you being a refrigerator. Be a refrigerator. Alright? Good job, bud. And then XP's, we're just clicking him every once in a while. Make sure that the XP's... Yeah, you go, boy. Alright, um, oh, no, this is a girl. That's right. Girl. You go, girl. Alright, so yeah, we're just making sure that, uh... Uh, she's got uh, XP. Um, we're just going to put hit points on her, but we're making sure she has the XP buff going at all times. And let me put some food on you. All right, and she also acts like a mini refrigerator. She doesn't have nearly as much weight as Bob, but she's still going to do all right. All right, so um, now that we have been leveling up a little bit and we've got our first tames under our belt, now we're going to uh, open up our Ingrams tab and we're already level 14. So now we're going to come down here and we're going to learn Bola. Right, and we're going to learn bow and stone arrow because they are important. And we're also going to learn crop plot. All right, small crop plot because I'm going to show you guys how to get into that a little bit. Um, crop plots require irrigation, but you can't make irrigation until level 17. But we're still going to jump in on that. All right. So um, here, let me show you a few things. Uh, let's also get mortar and pestle and narcotic going because if we want to hit level 17 quick, you need... Uh, mortar and pestle and narcotic. We're also going to learn sleeping bag because sleeping bag is required for the bed. All right, where's the bed? You were just here. All right, now if we wanted to learn um, the bed without learning the sleeping bag first, well, you, all you, you can go over here and you click this and it'll auto learn the uh, um, oh the sleeping bag for you. So you have to learn the sleeping bag in order to um, learn the simple bed. It's one of the prerequisites. But if you uh, don't want to have to search for the sleeping bag and then search for and then search for the bed individually, you just search for the bed, double click on it, and then it'll say, "Hey, would you like to spend uh, enough ingrams to unlock all this?" And you click yes, and then it just uh, automatically unlocks them. It's a very cool new feature. All right, and then also we're going to learn this wooden foundation because we're going to be converting some of our stuff over to wood in order to be pumping out the XP machines where we can get tons and tons of XP. All right, so first off. We're going to uh, make up a mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle requires stone and hide. Well, how much hide does it take for the bed? All right, so we've got to balance both these. This takes 15 hide. This takes 40 hide. We've got enough for both. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Um, let's get the bed going first, which takes wooden thatch. Let's go grab the wooden thatch real quick. Come back over here to our little convenient cops of trees that is just hanging out on the beach that we keep cutting down whenever we need wood. It's very effective. It's very cool, and I enjoy the fact that we have trees right next to where we decided we were going to build. All right, so let's get that. A whole bunch of wood, because we're going to need it. All right. Let's grab some more wood. Whatever wood we have left over, we can just stick in our uh, little handy-dandy storage box. Do we have enough to repair that? We do. All right. So now that we have that uh, hatchet on our inventory bar, whenever you need to, whenever it breaks, you can just uh, click on the button and it'll repair it, which is kind of cool. All right. So now, uh, let's see. Do we have enough to craft a bed? We do. All right. And what are we lacking from this? Still stone. So let's go um, place down our bed over at the rudimentary shack. And then, hey, we leveled up from that. Good job. All right. And then we're, um, now the, the bed will give us a place to respawn. <clears throat> oh, and also it's raining. And it's hard to see right now. You can see it right there. Yeah, it's raining. And when it rains, it's uh, quite handy because uh, it's... Let's put that in there. And, you know, let's carry that just so we can repair that stuff. When it rains, it fills up your uh, um, hydration meter, your little water droplet over on the side, which is very cool. All right, let's put this down over here. All right, so we've got a bed. So if we want to, we could fast travel. Say uh, we were going to uh, go, say if we had another spot, and this right here, this is from a different playthrough that I'm doing. Um, so that's, I probably should get rid of that. I don't need that anymore. But this right here, this is where our bed is, the X. This is the terminal we are currently using. If we had other beds built around the uh, area, we could uh, 
uh, fast travel over there, but you need to drop your uh, items. You need to put your items in a uh, storage box before you go because it, it, it essentially kills you and respawns you over there. So, um, yeah, it'll drop all your gear that you have on you on the floor unless you take it and you put it in a little handy dandy box on the side. All right, let's get um, let's get another movement speed so where we can outrun a raptor just in case, and let's go get some stone for our mortar and pestle. All right, so let's get this, and then eventually we're gonna want to start moving into uh, metal and stuff like that. But here now we're just trying to uh, get the early game XP under our belt. See, right now we're still getting some metal, which is important. We want this metal. Alright, um, let's see, uh, there we go, mortar and pestle, and now we've got that, and also now that we have enough stuff, we're gonna craft up this bow, and then as many arrows as we can, but we're gonna need more flint for that. Alright, so let's take this, let's put this down on our hotbar, and then let's just take this, uh, slingshot, put it away, put it up here, and then we're gonna put the bow right down where the slingshot was, because the bow is a much, much better tool than the slingshot, and we're gonna try to go up and get as much flint as we possibly can, so where we can craft up as many arrows as we possibly can while we're out here. All right, come on, come on. Because arrows go hand in hand with making narcotics. And I will explain that why here in just a few minutes. So we're gonna want as many of those as we possibly can. And we're gonna wanna repair our pick as many times as we possibly can. All right, and there's a Dillo way over there. We haven't encountered one of those in this playthrough yet. Um, we been we picked a very easy spot to start. This island over here, um, the only other island that's even more, that's even easier than this one is called Herbivore Island. And so, yeah. All right. Um, if you're looking for a really easy spot, we're taking that movement speed up to 110. Um, so we're, we're going to stop at 110. I do not plan on taking movement speed any further throughout this entire playthrough. So 110 is as high as I want to go. Um, next off, we're going to keep going up with a little bit more weight. We're going to get weight all the way to 300, I think, and maybe um, health up to 150. All right, so now um, that we have all of these uh, ready, let's... Oh, we can only craft 10. Oh, we're missing thatch. All right, let's go get some thatch. I want to do just a big, big, huge amount of arrows all in one go so I don't have to be crafting on the fly. Let's get that. And that. All right. Uh, crafting arrows 61. That'll do. All right. So now that we have that, uh, let's uh, craft that up. And also, I want to get a second bow and put it down on the inventory. And I saw something run across there. All right, now this is something you want to pay very close attention to. Okay, it was just Demorphanon. It was this guy out here flying right there. I saw him dart like this. It actually looked like a raptor for a second, just darting across the water, which they will do that. When you see that, you turn and run or you kill it. That's your only option. Kill it or run. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so now that we've got the arrows crafted, we're waiting on the second bow. We're going to take this and we're going to put this right down here in the other one. So where we have a second bow to switch to, when we need to. See, so right now we have this bow right here. When this bow gets damaged, if we're in the middle of combat, we don't want to have to repair that because that takes time. We just switch to this one and bam, we've got a second bow already loaded. That's awesome. All right, it's very, very good advice. Oh, and the XP's buff wore off. So we're going to click that on you. Make sure you've got some stuff. Do you have any more levels, buddy? All right, we're going to take you up and wait again. All right, good job. All right, stationary targets. Good job being stationary. Give you a little bit more health. All right. So now that we've got the mortar and pestle, we're going to take the mortar and pestle and we're going to put it right next to the front door because we we're, uh, most of the times when we run up to this mortar and pestle, we're going to have stuff that is either spoiling or heavy. So we don't want to have to go all the way through and you know try to find it in a big jumble. And then this right here, we just instantly know that as soon as we go in, it's just right here. All right. Now, opening up the uh, mortar and pestle's inventory, you'll notice that it has 12 slots in here. Plus, also, it has certain engrams that you can uh, craft in here, like this one right here. It has um, narcotics. All right. Now, narcotics, they take narco berries and spoiled meat, which is why we've been keeping all of our spoiled meat. We're going to take that, and we're going to take that, and we're going to take that. All right, we don't have many uh, spoiled meat right now. So, you see right here, this has a 15-minute spoil time. So, it's going to take a little while. But we're just going to spread this out. All right, here, let me explain this to you really quick. Let me let me back up, all right? Um, see, right now, 
If we were to let this spoil, the top one would spoil and then the other two would remain. It, by splitting this stack up, all right, each one of them now has an individual spoil timer. So where when they go down to zero, they're all going to become spoiled meat and then just the entire thing is going to uh, help us out and it's going to be all nice and everybody's going to have fun. We're going to have a big narcotics party and we're going to go hang out at the mortar and pestle, you know, and tell stories over by the water cooler and stuff like that. Right. Okay, so <laughs> now that that's uh, in the, now we're just going to put our narcotics and our spoiled meat in here. We're going to go through here, click on that, and then we're just going to select all four of those. Now here, watch this really quick. Narcotics, they will give you a ton of XP. See, 1288, and then here, watch, wait till it ticks again. Yeah, it's 1301. They give you a ton of XP. So narcotics, if you're looking to level up fast, narcotics are the way to go. All right, and what level are Trank Arrows? Let's uh, take a look at that really quick. All right, Trank Arrows are level 21. So as soon as we, we wanna have a bunch of uh, narcotics ready, because these are the main ingredient in Trank Arrows. So we're going to be leveling up as quick as we can to get there to level 21. Right now we're 16, but in the process, we wanna make sure that we have a whole ton of narcotics on hand. So where as soon as we hit level 21, we can pump out a whole bunch of those. Oh, and I've got a bunch of flint over here. Can I make some more arrows? Yes, I can, thank you, 22 of those, all right. Okay, and then now that we've got this, we're just going to take all this hide and we're going to stick that over in there because we want to keep that. We're going to take all the stone and put that over there and all this wood and put that over there and all this metal. Metal is very important. I cannot tell you just how important that is. Well, actually, I can't tell you how important it is. It's very important, all right? Very, very important. Keep your metal and your narcotics and your spoiled meat and a bunch of other stuff. And you keep it inside of one of these things. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yeah, we're waiting on that to spoil. We're going to get that. All right, now we just need to... Oh, and also this... Uh, um, oh, charcoal. We want to keep as much of that as possible. All right, I mean, I realize that a lot of times you're not going to be able to... Uh, um, collect a whole bunch of charcoal. You're not getting, you know, you're going to have to throw some out on the ground, you know, but it's important that as you can keep as much charcoal as you can, because eventually when you get into firearms, you're going to need the charcoal for gunpowder and you're going to go through a whole bunch of it. So you need to keep as much of that as you possibly can. All right. So now we're going to, uh, let's see, let's take this, let's put this in there because we don't need this right now, but, um, what does it take Wrong button. What does it take for the uh, crop plot? Right there. Um, it takes 20 wood, 10 thatch, 25 stone. So we've got most of that. We just have to go get some. All right, let's 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 go get our thatch really quick. And then we'll come back and we'll craft that. Because there's a couple things that we want. All right, there's thatch. We're just going to grab up a whole bunch of thatch while we're over here. I mean, why not? All right. And what level are you, dude? You're level 90 male. I already have a level 75 male. If you're a female, you'd be cool, but you're not cool because you're not female. All right. And then now also while we're out here, we've got these bushes here. We might as well pick some because we're going to be looking for a certain type of seed. All right. Um, now the seeds, they're, they're, they're random. They really are. Um, but I mean, I can't tell you we're definitely going to get one. We might, but here, yeah, I'm going to be out here. I'm going to be gathering some of this stuff. Um, it's going to take me a little while, probably, and I'm not going to make you guys sit here through this while I gather all this. But as soon as I have the correct seed, I will bring you guys back, and I will see you guys in a bit. All right, and we're back. And, uh, yeah, I, uh, I finally found one. I found a bunch of other seeds, and I've been collecting poop. Don't judge me, really. All right, but, <laughs> yeah, also, I got some of this. I got a whole bunch of narco berries in the process, but, and I realized oh, after no. I was already out picking a whole bunch of berries, I realized I already had one. Um, yeah, we're going to uh, stick this in here. All right, we're going to stick narcotics in here, narco berries in here. So where we're starting to grow up narco berries um, in, uh, um, you know, in the off time, basically. So where we will always have a steady supply of narcotics in here. Oh, let me, let me get the poop and stick it in here. And then also, since we, uh, what level are we now? We're level 18. We can actually build uh, irrigation, and we're starting to slowly get our irrigation up for when we get a medium crop plot. Because, um, see, normally I would say, you know, don't start your crops right away. Well, that's not so much anymore because now you need to uh, um, have a, you need to have crops ready to go as you start leveling up. 
and see this is already growing. And then here, let me show you how I irrigated that really quick. Um, I crafted up a water skin right here with the, some of the last hide that we had, water skin. All right, so now I take the water skin over here and then um, while looking at the water, you press three or while standing in the water, you press the button that it's on it. And then you take the water skin, you put it in here and then all you do is just consume. And it puts all the water from the water skin inside here and then it fills it up. I fill that back up. All right, so now we, we're gonna have, um, eventually we're gonna have narco berries growing in there. All right, and then the poop we just put directly in there so where it acts as fertilizer. Now you can make better fertilizer out of poop, but we're not gonna do that right now. We're just gonna do this so where we have this already going and then also so where we already have the, uh, <clears throat> the irrigation set up. So where when we do finally hit, um, what is it? Uh, uh, level 26, we will have the irrigation already set up so we can jump right into rock carrots because rock carrots are the only way or they're the best way of taming a Equus. All right, now a horse in this game is amazingly cool and we want one as quick as possible because they're so amazingly cool. But in order to get one of those, we have to have rock carrots. Um, and but you can't put uh, rock carrots into the medium crop plants, but that's kind of you know the one of the little things that uh, you know you have to do. Um, so now we're going to uh, come out here. We're going to go get a bunch of uh, metal. Dude, what level are you? And that guy's going to aggro on us if we get too close. Uh, do we have enough stuff to build a bola? We do. All right, let's build four of those. All right, let's take these bolas. Let's put them down on our bar. All right, right there. Get that out of there. Right, because if he gets close to us, uh, we're going to need something to uh, bola him and to, something to root him and then get out of the way. And a bola will do that just fine. Um, because I would like to tame him because iguanodons are pretty cool. But I'm not sure we're ready for it right now because we don't have trank arrows or anything like that. But we're going to get some um, stone so where we can uh, start build building our irrigation. And then get over there and get the irrigation running and get ready for all that stuff. And then after that, I think we're going to convert the little rudimentary shack over there. We're going to convert that to wood. And we should, that should give us enough XP to get up into uh, Trank Arrows. Which is going to be a huge step for us. All right, but also we need to keep an eye out for dodos, dillos, stuff like that. Anything that can give us uh, meat and hide because we need both of those. Alright. And I saw a Dillo out here earlier while I was out running around doing stuff. There's a Dodo. Alright, let me get this uh, stuff put away. Let's come over here. <clears throat> Waddle our way over here since we're encumbered. And then we're going to get the irrigation loaded up. You don't want to come mess with my base, buddy. I've got a Bob. And an XP's. They will eat you. Alright. All right, Iguanodons, they're really passive. Uh, they'll only aggro if you get right up in their face, so, yeah. All right, so, um, let's see, uh, irrigation. All right, so intake, straight, tap, inclined, and intersection. All right, and that's really all we need. All right, so let's go with uh, that, one of those. You know, let's just go with one of those. We don't really need a whole ton of this. All right. Let's get you up like... You know, I think we don't even really need hardly anything. We can just put a tap right there. All right. Bam. Hey, look at that. 100% irrigation. And it's in there. So my narco berries will be growing around it. But hey, you know what? That's fine. I'm fine with that. <laughs> All right, uh, so let's get in here. Let's put this uh, spoiled meat that we've got in here with the uh, narcotics. Uh, craft that drugs, craft all four of those, get that XP. And then while that's going, now we're going to uh, start going over and getting a whole bunch of wood and whatnot for... Well, we're going to need that and that and that. We're going to need wood. Thank you. There's XP. All right. 
Here, you just carry my stone, buddy. I don't need it right now. All right? All right? So, yeah, let's uh, go with some more weight. Level uh, 19. Level 19, right? Yes, 19. Two more levels, and then we've got uh, oh, Trank Arrows under our belt. And then we're almost uh, up to uh, Medium Crop Plot, because we need to get a Medium Crop Plot as quick as possible. All right. So let's go like that, put that in there, and then, all right, I'm going to be over here. I'm going to grab a whole bunch of wood. We're going to craft up a bunch more stuff, the wooden foundations and whatnot. Oh, and one thing I wanted to cover, at this low of level, when you're crafting stuff, um, it's easiest just to put the uh, engram on your bar, so where you can craft it as you go, so where it's not building up a whole ton of weight as you go, because uh, this wood, it weighs a lot, but it also gives a ton of XP. That's awesome. All right, we're already level 20. All right, so um, yeah, as you're uh, crafting, just put the engram on your bar and then you can uh, craft it on the fly. All right, it's like this. As we go, just click that. It's no longer taking up a whole ton of room in our inventory. And then as that lights up, we can just keep moving on. And these foundations give a ton of XP. Let me see. Yeah, a ton of XP. It's so awesome. All right, up to 250 weight already. And we're going to need some hit points here really quick. Um, so we need one more of those. We're also going to need some more thatch. Look at that real quick. All right, let's get this one. And back to wood. Crap that, and that one should... Yeah, here, 22, 33. Yeah. 55 XP for one. That's that's really good. All right, now that we've uh, got the six foundations that we need, now we need to open this up. We need to learn wall. All right, wooden wall. All right, so now we do the exact same thing. As we did with the foundation, we put the wall right down here. Because we're going to need a whole bunch of these. But the foundations and stuff, they will start uh, building up a whole bunch of weight. But not as much as the raw wood would. Um, I said wood wood, huh? Yeah. One, two, three. Wow, we're going to be uh, leveling up here soon. Uh, we're going to be up to uh, max level here soon. All right, we're going to go with some... Uh, some health. We're going to get that up to 150. All right, let's repair that. All right. Get that. Get that. You see the XP, it, it literally just flies as you're doing this. It's amazing. It's so cool. All right, so I'm going to finish doing this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, coming back to the base after building all the foundations and all the walls, and uh, we're, already, uh, we're already up to level 24 now. That's pretty cool. All right, what? Uh, crop. All right, we still have two more levels to get for that, but yeah, here pretty soon we're going to be able to get in the Refining Forge and all that, which is amazing. What level is Refining Forge? I think it's 20. At least it used to be. Yeah, we're going to get that Refining Forge up and going here soon. But for now, we're just going to take these, put these down here, and... Oh. Did I just do that? Oh, and I'm in it. Ah, oh, no. All right. All right, well, hey, we're going to come inside here, and we're just going to drop these down right like this. And I'll you just go like this, and it'll automatically replace the one underneath it, so it won't destroy the structure above it. We don't have enough stuff. Um, we're missing wood. All right, let me run back out here, grab some wood, because Flinger done screwed up. It happens. It happens. All right. Uh, let's uh, go like this. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. I can craft one now. All right, <laughs> come back here. All right. I, I swear I didn't mess up, Bob. I swear, dude. I mean, XP may have saw it, but I didn't see it. All right, put that right there. All right, cool. 
All right, so now we're going to take this. And I probably overcrafted the walls, but you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm just going to go and systematically replace all of these. And, and all half of the resources for all the stuff is going to come back into our inventory, which... Um, if you're, you have to be careful when you're, uh, destroying or overlaying a whole bunch of, uh, heavy stuff like stone and stuff like that because it will, uh, weigh you down as you're destroying it, which is kind of, it kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah. So, hey, we've got mostly, uh, a wood for, uh, most of it, which is really cool. Let's close that door. Let's see. Bam. And then, bam. So, hey, now... Our, this little piggy made a house of wood. It's no longer a house of straw. Eventually, we will get into a house of stone, but I'm not sure it's going to be here. Yeah. All right, so I've got some more meat spoiling up. Um, we're going to uh, make a whole bunch more narcotics, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. So, hey, if you like the XP machine that is just doing this, and it... Cause, I mean, making the foundations, upgrading to wood, upgrading from thatch to wood, uh, making the uh, crop plots, making the uh, narcotics, all of that. It's huge for the XP game. Plus, also going out and killing for the meat, and it'll get you a really high level really quick. Well, not really high level, but it'll get you up into the 30s pretty quick. Right now, we're already level 24, and we're still just starting on the XP machine. I'm going to be grinding this stuff for a little bit. And I will see you next time. So, hey, if you liked the episode, click that like button. I really appreciate that. And until next time, this is Flinger Foo. And take it easy, everyone. All right. Yeah, Bob, I swear, I didn't screw up. All right, I heard you back over here snickering. Okay? Yeah, Flinger Dunn screwed up with the foundation. Meaning he was even inside it. I saw it. Yeah, I did. All right, you can stop snickering. You too, XPs. All right, do your little jump. Yeah, I'm going inside. You guys hurt my feelings. See what you did, Bob? Yeah. Take it easy, everyone. <laughs>